Welcome back. We have a lot to do today. We're going to pot up some brassicas, then we're going to plant some onions, we're going to get some sweet potato slips started. Come along for the ride. When I first started gardening, for some reason, the idea of potting my plants up and thinning them out was just terrifying to me. So as a result, I would just let things grow and get overcrowded, or I would plant only a few things, and that's not the right way to do it. So I have figured out that it's not as hard as it seems. It's not scary. And these little plants, they are delicate, but they're not as delicate as you think. So what I like to do is I actually like to use something like a little spoon handle or something to take it out of the cell. It is long and thin and not sharp, but it's, you know, it, it's easy to get it out. I've also used popsicle sticks. Anything like that will work. You gently lift the whole clump of plants out of the cell and then you can Kind of disentangle the roots sometimes the roots do tend to grow around each other but that's okay you're not going to kill them i also use this time as an opportunity to thin out the plants that aren't doing so well and that don't look like they're going to survive and those i just set them to the side i discard them or i give them to the chickens the chickens really like them we're just going to make a little hole in our pot in the dirt and we're going to set it down in there you don't want your roots to be scrunched up too much, but obviously they're not growing straight down. We just don't want to tie them in a knot. Then we're going to put, as we, as we put it in there, we're going to pat the dirt around it firmly, but not so tight that it can't breathe and can't grow. And you're going to find once you get these things out of these overcrowded cells, they're just going to take off. You are going to be amazed at how quickly they grow. This is labor intensive, but the results are gonna be worth it. You're gonna love it.
now that that's done, we're going to move on to sweet potatoes. I'm going to make some sweet potato slips. I'd like to grow some this year. And you do not have to use any kind of special potatoes for this. I actually, last year I did an experiment where I used these conventional potatoes and some organic sweet potatoes. And to be honest with you, the organic ones never did make slips. So I just go pick up a bag at the grocery store and we just fill up this pan with some dirt. And then it's easy as pie. We're just gonna nestle these little sweet potatoes in there. This dirt is moist when I put it in and I'm gonna keep it moist. So every few days I'm gonna go back through and give it a little bit more water around it. Don't want it to be sopping because we don't want them to rot. But this is gonna encourage these sweet potatoes to go ahead and root. And then in a month, probably, probably a little over a month, we'll have some plants growing up out of it and we'll be able to start planting those and growing sweet potatoes. It worked so well last year with me just kind of sticking them in the ground and hoping it worked that I think it's really gonna do well this year if I put some effort into it. And this is another one of those things that for some reason it intimidated me so much for so long, but it's not hard once you get to it. And So I'm also going to try to plant some more onions and I'm actually going to use this soil blocker which I've never used before. I've seen it being used and it's always seemed like a novel idea but I've never actually done it myself. So I'm going to try it. You just pack the dirt into it and then we're going to put the dirt over onto the tray, the empty tray, and it's going to make these nice little blocks of soil and they're, they're compact enough that they stay together. And then I'm going to plant, instead of planting two or three seeds to a block the way that I do when I plant them in the cells, I'm actually just going to plant one seed per block. And this is actually what you saw at the beginning of the video. It's been a few days and these onions have sprouted nicely. <laughs> 